I have my own personal testimony of this. My father and I, we look physically similar and we have two identical allergies. We are both allergic to walnuts and wasps. Now the walnut one is not so bad. As a kid growing up, I would know if something had walnuts in it, say some banana bread or some cookies, if they didn't tell me, because 20 minutes later my mouth would erupt in canker sores. And it's pretty painful. But my father and I are both also both deathly allergic to wasp stings. And before I knew about urine, my father experienced this too. He got stung once by a wasp, and his chest and throat started to close up and go into what's called anaphylactic shock. Luckily, he got to a hospital at the time, and they calmed him down manually. Same thing happened to me a couple of years before I knew about this trick with urine therapy. I got stung by a wasp, and I started to get a little bit itchy, and I started to get red blotches. And I said to my friend, I said, I think you better take me to the drugstore to get some Benadryl and, and antihistamine. So we we're on the way to the drugstore, and my chest started to constrict. And I said, no, I think you better take me to the hospital. And we drove straight to the hospital, and the, it was packed. It looked like a five-hour wait if you had a broken finger or something. I went to the front desk, and I told them what was wrong. I told them I, was having, I thought I was having anaphylactic shock to a wasp sting. They took my name, told me to sit down. I wasn't sitting but five to seven seconds before they said, Andrew Weber, and they called me. And I was immediately surrounded by five doctors and nurses. They put a liquid Benadryl in one arm, they put a liquid IV in the other, they put oxygen to my face, and they manually calmed me down. Because anaphylactic shock can take you over in five minutes, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes. It varies every time, but the whole body can just shut down. And so after that, it prescribed me an EpiPen, and I was terrified to go out in nature, because who knows, or you know, what if I forget it, or go for a walk, or I'm in downtown, or wherever, and I get stung by a wasp for whatever reason. I'll either have to run to the emergency room, or be lucky enough to have brought my EpiPen with me, which you got a jab in the thigh, and it stops the allergic reaction. Now, there's a beautiful trick that everybody should know about, and this should have been your birthright knowledge. Once you hear this, you never have to worry about any snake bite, scorpion bite, spider bite. It's a total joke, and it speaks to your truly intelligent design of your body. Seconds after any poison enters your bloodstream, the antidote will be in your urine. And all you have to do is pee out a little bit into your hand, put it in your mouth, and hold it under your tongue. Antigens are in your urine, and these are homeopathic sized dots, infinitesimally small dots of whatever's wrong with you. And even on a daily basis, the most minimal thing you can do to have the biggest impact is to put 10 drops under your tongue once a day of your urine and just hold it there for 10 minutes. These two lymph nodes under your tongue produce antibodies and they study the antigens in your urine. And so if you have the flu, there'll be flu antigens in the urine. And this is the most that you could say, you know, when you talk about, people want to talk about the urine being toxic. Well, these are so small, they work just like vaccines. They aren't big enough or enough of the poison to hurt you, but they are enough to let the lymph nodes get an education. Say, for instance, the polio virus. They put dead polio cells in the shot, and they give you a shot. And now your body can study it because it's not a living virus, it's the dead virus cells. And they can study it without danger or damage. And they go, oh, this is what's messing with us. Well, this is the same with your urine. The liver and the kidneys are the ultimate filters, and they let through the tiniest dots of whatever's wrong with you. And so, especially when it comes to being out in nature and you get stung by or bit by a rattlesnake. You know, within five seconds it's in there, and in my science books about it, uh, urinalysis in clinical laboratory practice, they state in there, that the kidneys move through a thousand liters of liquid every 24 hours. 
it's incredibly fast. So I'm sure it's within there within five seconds, but wait 15 seconds. Then pee out in your hand and just put a little bit under your tongue and hold it there. These two lymph nodes will study the antigens and they go, ah, this is who's messing with us. And they start popping out the right antibodies. It will stop the allergic reaction in real time. Two years later, I happened to be working in the same area and I uncovered a wasp nest and sure enough, a wasp stung me right on the arm. And I go, oh my gosh, there's my chance. Because by now I had read the thousand testimonials and I knew about this trick, but I'd never <laughs> had my own chance to try it. I waited about 15 seconds and I peed out into my hand and I just put a little bit under my tongue. And I sat there at the kitchen table with the car keys in one hand and the EpiPen in the other. And my friend who had driven me to the hospital, he was there too. And we sat there at the table. 10 minutes went by, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Nothing happened. Absolute silence on the part of the body. Whereas last time, I was sure I was going to die. And if I had gone, not gotten help, I would have died. The body would have shut down. This time, nothing happened. And the only thing I felt, aside from the initial pain of the sting, was a slight itching in that spot three days later. And I even put a, a urine-soaked cotton ball on it and taped it to it. It's happened twice again since then. And I've done the exact same thing. And now I, you know, I know. I knew after the first time, I knew it would work, even though I never had my own chance to try it. Because there's so many testimonials from around the world of people doing this exact same thing. Whether it's a black mamba or a coral snake or they're allergic or it's peanut allergies or milk allergies, it doesn't matter. This is a trick that you can always correct in the body with this one simple method. And not only will it stop a, an allergic reaction in real time, but you can make a homeopathic formula of your urine when you're having the height of the reaction, there's a lot of those antigens in your urine, or bits of data, if you want to call them that. And so you can take just one drop of your urine during that allergic reaction and save it, and put it into two tablespoons of pure water, or pure alcohol, if you like, any of the white liquors, gin, rum, vodka, and you succuss it. That means to shake it vigorously 50 times. And that perfectly distributes that one drop of urine throughout those two tablespoons of either pure water or pure liquor. Now, put five drops under the tongue, say, three times a day, until that bottle is gone. And what you're doing is you're continually giving yourself a homeopathic dosage of that lesson, of that poison. And so the body actually learns to never have the reaction in the first place. And you could do this with anybody that's suffering, especially these children who can't even go near lunchrooms with peanut allergies or, or milk allergies. You can make a, this formula and completely erase the allergy. The people do not have to suffer these allergies for life. And the sodium fluoride in the water is almost entirely responsible for all the allergies, especially the gluten allergies. And that too can be erased. Sodium fluoride dissolves the hydrogen bonds in between your DNA. You know the double twisted helix shape and you got the ladder rungs? Those are hydrogen bonds. And sodium fluoride literally dissolves the hydrogen bonds and your DNA unravel. This is why the body is making mistakes. It's because the DNA has been strongly damaged. But you can correct this knowledge, you can correct this mistake by using your own water which has the information in it.